What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. It feels like it's been forever since I've recorded. It hasn't, but it's, that's how it feels. Uh, dear D-Dub, one week from today, we are holding the Stardew Valley Fair in the town square. That rhymes. <laughs> it's the biggest event of the year, drawing people from all across the country to our humble town. If you'd like, you can set up a Grange display for the event. Just bring up to nine items that best showcase your talents. You'll be judged on the quality and diversity of your display. The fair starts at 9 a.m. Don't miss it. Mayor Lewis. Okay, so that's actually going to be one of the, the focuses of today's episode, is trying to figure out what we're going to put in the Grange display. And, uh, yeah, just trying to figure that out, because I don't, really don't have a clue. Um, I know I want to do some crops, some fish, and some stuff from the mines, but... Beyond that, I don't really know how to diversify, I guess. Uh, I hope that makes sense. But we're going to make a couple more sprinklers just to have on hand. We're not going to do anything with them right away. Um, we might be putting them... What am I doing? Sorry, I'm trying to think and do stuff at the same time. And that doesn't work so well. Um... Ooh, we got honey. Okay, yeah, I was going to put it... I think I want to save one for my pumpkins... Uh, which are this top left plot right here, and then I'll probably do one at one of these plots. I believe this is eggplant, and this is... I don't have a clue. Um, so we're gonna just keep these in here for now. We're... Oh, man, we have five. Uh, is that enough for one, two, three, four, five? It is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... Within a couple days' time, hopefully, be completely self or not self-sufficient it's going to be completely automated which will be awesome <laughs> um i don't think i've ever done that in stardew valley i don't think i've ever had a fully automated farm but with the addition of those two and then we can also grab out oh now we're gonna have an odd number of whatever there are worse things go ahead and plant back down our bok choy and wheat oh this is cool and we can do the same with our amaranth. That's what that is. Amaranth. Um, ooh, that's nice. I like it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and water my crops for one of the last times. And we'll continue from there. All right, I've gone ahead and grabbed our mushrooms for the day. And I also mind, not mind, cut down a little bit of hardwood. Just the four stumps that were up there. But let's say hi to our lovely ladies real quick. Hello, Maya. Hello, Bella. And where's Darcy? Where's she at? Uh, is that her down there making the grass move? Oh my gosh. She is so hard to see. That's a pretty good camo. Uh, today is another day of blackberries though, so that's exciting. We've got a lot of, a lot of, uh, bushes on the farm that we can actually harvest. Uh, I've already done two from up by, uh, the mine, or not the mine, the, uh, cave entrance. And we're already up to ten for the day, which is absurd. I think there was another one up here. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Grange display. Uh, so we're going to have pumpkins harvestable soon. Um, I kind of want to do pumpkins and... Uh, we don't. We didn't save any melons. We've got a cauliflower from spring. That's gold tier. And that's the highest uh, grossing item from spring. So we might, as far as crops go at least. So we'll do one of those. Um, so we'll do a pumpkin... Sorry, I can't think while doing this. A pumpkin, a cauliflower, a fish, or two. That's three or four items. A diamond, which is four or five items. And then maybe we'll cook a dish, which will be five or six, probably six. And then we still need three more items, which I, I don't know what to do. Um, we also need to keep our eye out for Marnie today. Uh, I know she's closed on Monday and Tuesday. So we won't be finding her anytime soon, or at least not in her store. Um, but let's go, let's go blackberry foraging while we continue to think about what we're going to do as far as the grange display is concerned. Um, I know there's going to be quite a few bushes up here that we can harvest. We also need it. Oh my gosh, right as I'm saying it, I was going to say we also need to keep an eye out for Linus's basket. But that looks very basket-like. Um, we will go check that out. Is that... We didn't check that area last time. That's uh, the little middle area between the actual bus stop and the little tunnel where we found the note from Mr. Key. I think that's what we're calling him. 
we will go stop down there here very shortly. Um, Robin, no, she's she's at her her jazzercise class right now, right? I think so. It's a Tuesday. I think I got that straight. Oh my gosh, so many blackberries. Linus, you home, Mo? I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Linus, are you home, man? And that... <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, <laughs> we'll go say hi to Demetrius real quick. And then I want to do a little fishing. I don't... I see those bubbles, and that's what's reminding me. I want to do a little fishing today, but not at... Pumpkin spice this, pumpkin spice that. Man, I do get sick of these seasonal... Uh, fads. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Good old PSLs. Pumpkin spice lattes. Um, I do want to do some fishing, but not here. I think I want to go to the ocean. I think that's where the most valuable fish are. Uh, I could be wrong, but that's what my brain is telling me. And so that's what we're going to do. Are there any more blackberry bushes over here? I don't think so, but I wanted to check. Oh, there is. Whoa. That's cool. The rabbit ran into the bush and knocked the berries off. I didn't know that was a thing. Apparently it is. Um, all right. I'm going to just harvest blackberries on the way back to the farm and we'll grab Linus's basket. I'll meet you guys over there. Okay. I know this isn't anywhere near the farm, but I just remembered Marnie is part of the crew that works out here on Tuesdays. So maybe we can give this to her or maybe she's too busy right now. Oh, yes. Oh, the amaranth I asked for. Thank you so much. My cows are going to love this. You're welcome. Marnie smiles at you through a mist of sweat. Cool. How much did that give us? 500. That gives us 10,000 gold. We can do something with 10,000 gold. But what I'm wanting to... Actually, I was going to say, what I want to do is save that 10,000 for a rainy day and go upgrade our watering can. But I don't think we'll need to do that. Um, our other crops that I forgot to water um, are the fall crops. Or the fall fall seeds. Um, oh, they end at 4 p.m. Good to know. Uh, the other fall crops that we planted are in a 5x6 grid. So it would actually work better with the style watering can we have now. Uh, I'm looking for someone to bring me 35 copper ores. We'll accept, but I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Also, again, no birthdays this episode. Interesting. Hello, Lewis. How are you? It was around this time of year when I first became mayor, over 20 years ago. That makes me feel really old. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember. No birthdays? Something like that? Yeah. More blackberry bushes, though. And then we'll be... Man, we might grab the bush or the basket, but not go talk to Linus today. We might give that to him tomorrow. Because I want to head up... Uh, to Robbins, I try to help out in the shop on most days. Business has been pretty bad since the Jojo Mart opened, though. Um, I want to head to Robbins tomorrow and see how much an upgraded chicken coop costs. I would really like to start being able to breed chickens instead of having to keep buying them. They're not super expensive, but there's something about it that it's just a sense of pride for me, having bred everything. You found the berry basket. Better return it to Linus. I will, but not right now, because I said I wanted to fish today, and uh, we have half our energy, and more than half our day is gone already, so... Uh, do we want to drop anything off? Uh, it can't hurt. We're just going to be selling a couple of these things real quick. Oh, we can get more pale ale going, too. Yes, please. I also realized I didn't grab eggs um, this morning from my chickens, so that's, that's something I'll need to do tonight, or... Like I said, I was going to do a long time ago and never did experiment to see if they stay the night. So we might actually do that. We'll see if there's four eggs there tomorrow. My forgetfulness has turned into an experiment. <laughs> if only I could make that excuse every episode because I, I forget a lot of things a lot of times. All right, we're going to head to the ocean real quick. See what forageables we can find per usual. And how much? I was going to say, how much bait do we have? Not much. Um, not that that's a huge deal. It definitely helps, but not a huge deal. Um, I'd like to get a worm bin going soon. And we can definitely do that. We just need one more gold bar. 25 hardwood, one gold, one iron, and 50 fiber. Just to produce this bait. I don't know if it stacks, though. Like, 
you know, just like our, our honey produces stuff or our sap, uh, or our tree sap, tree tappers. Um, it's been said that a pirate ship full of plundered gold shipwrecked here a long, a long time ago. Uh, anyway, I don't know, like those, once it's collected the sap from the tree, you have to harvest it for it to continue to produce more. I don't know if that works the same with worm bins. Um, if you just have to pick up one thing of bait at a time, or if it'll stack so you can go there and pick up like 20 at a time. That'd be awesome. Ornamental fan, we already have that. Man, there's a lot of worms down here. One singular gold ore, not super valuable. And then trash and a cockle. Again, not super valuable. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to continue to just loot all this. Actually, this is a lot of stuff. That's what, five or four? Five, six, seven items, some of which we got two of? That's crazy! Anyway, I'm going to fish, and I will see you guys when I'm done. Hopefully, we can catch something valuable, like gold tier of a good quality fish, because that's really what I'm wanting for the Grace display. But all right, I'll see you guys in a sec. Not bad at all. The second fish we caught was actually a gold super cucumber. And just the fact that it says it's rare uh, means it's probably going to be a good item for the Grange display. So that's one of our fish. We might do two fish, two crops, two things from the mines, and that puts us at eight. And that leaves us with just one item that's kind of up in the air still. So maybe if I stumble upon a third of something, that would also be good. Also, I realized I haven't been saving my gold tier corn. So that's something I need to start doing as well as our gold quality pumpkins whenever we get them. We need to make sure to sell them or no, <laughs> bad, bad Dr. Dito. We need to make sure to hang on to them and not sell them. That would be bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting all of our items for our Grange display in our recycling chest. Uh, we have a couple items that or i mean we only have a few items in here that are actually being recycled so it'll be pretty obvious what is recyclable and what is not i hope at least <laughs> that would be bad if i mistakenly screw that up um but we're definitely going to try to go mining tomorrow i'd love to get some more gold because we don't really have a lot of that and also 35 35 copper. We can go talk to Clint tomorrow, too. Perfect. And we can take that geode, I guess. And is there anything else? I don't think so. Um, all right. I'm going to do a quick chest dump. And just like that, we're done. I also realized how weird that sounded, how I phrased it. I've been doing that a couple times this episode. Uh, I'm going to finish up these few crops that I totally forgot we planted. Um, and we're going to call it a night. It's already midnight, so we probably should be doing that anyway. Grab that one I missed. And is blackberries? No, not the pine tree. And I'm not going to look for any more blackberries down there, because if I do, I'm going to be out all night doing that. So let's go to bed. And then tomorrow, we will stop by Robbins. While we're there, we will stop by Linus, give him his basket. And then we can go turn this stuff into Clint, get that geode processed. And then see if we can go mining, because that would be good. And I don't have to remember to bring my sword now, because it's up by the mines. It's so nice. 3,000 gold. Not bad. Not bad at all. That puts us at just over 13,000. I'm not used to being able to say 13,000. Usually it's 1,300. Also, I'm loving this new bear statue. It's so cool. It's going to be beautiful and sunny tomorrow, and we're going to have the best of luck today. No, we're not. We're going to have neutral luck, but that's okay. And did we... Yeah, okay. We already know how to cook pancakes. Ah, uh, ooh. What's up, Marnie? Good morning, Mr. D-Dub. I came by to ask you a favor, since you're such a kind neighbor. You see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello but they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat, cave carrots. So, since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you could bring me a cave carrot when you have the chance? There's no pressure, but if you want to, just swing by my house between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. with a cave carrot. 
You'll make an old girl very happy. Bye. I think we can do that. Don't we have a cape current? Dear neighbor, when I'm not taking care of animals, I like to experiment in the kitchen. Since we've since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. I hope you like this. Marnie. Why couldn't she have given this to us when... Whatever. That makes no sense. Pale broth. Cool. Anyway, you guys know the drill. I'm going to take care of everything real quick, and I'll see you when I'm done. All right. I seem to always forget to harvest my corn for whatever reason. It, it doesn't look very harvestable, I guess, if I'm going to make excuses. Uh, but we got another gold one, so that's good. Or a gold one, not another gold one. I guess we don't have any yet. So that's one of five. Uh, ooh, we also have a gold star fruit. Ooh. I really hope we get our items back from the Grange display, but I'm thinking we do a gold star fruit as well. That could be our ninth item. Ooh, that's cool. Although, it would be nice to get some gold tier mayo as well, just to add some diversity. So we get that, um... I don't know, it said they like a variety of items. So we'll have items from the mines, from fishing, from our crops, and then some artisan goods, which is what that would fall under. Ooh, and we do get eggs. Or more eggs. Also, since... Well, there we go. There's our gold mayo. <laughs> Let's put all these together. That's three items, and that makes four. So we've got four items for our grains display in one day, which is not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, let's grab these blackberries while I'm looking at them. But I want to go up, dump everything that I've got, and then we're going to head out to Marnie's and give her that cave carrot. And since we got that letter from her about, um, or she shared a recipe with us, I believe you get your first recipe shared at three hearts, if I'm not mistaken, which also means we should be able to go into her bedroom. Which also means <laughs> that we can get Mayor Lewis's lucky shorts. So, yeah. Let's, let's go ahead and take care of everything up here. And just like that, we're ready to head out. We've got the cave carrot for Marnie. We've also got a gift for her, which is an egg. And if we see Leah, we've got a gift for her as well, being another egg. Um, I went ahead and sold the mayo instead of gifting that just because it makes us a little bit more money. And I'm kind of getting greedy now that we're making so much money. It's kind of really nice to have cash to spend. It's not something that we can say happens often. Or has happened often recently. Oh my gosh, I didn't want to go this far down, but the blackberry bushes are just everywhere. I'm going to get carried away. I need to stop. I'm like an addict right now. Okay, no, this is it. We're going to head back. I see them right there, but no, I can't. I need to uh, make sure we have time to go to the mines today. Uh, not like we have great luck, but I remember telling myself that I needed to go mining even when my luck wasn't the greatest because it still was fruitful. Speaking of fruit, uh, it's everywhere. <laughs> if we have extra, extra time at the end of the day, that will definitely be something we look at. Well, hello, Marnie. What's going on? Oh, you brought the cave carrot. Thank you so much, Mr. Dita. You're welcome, Marnie. Is she going to bring out the goat? This looks great. I almost want to eat it myself. Almost. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. I really do appreciate it. Howdy. That was cool. I didn't think that was tied to the same cutscene. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks again for helping me out. And my goats say thanks, too, which is what she was trying to get them to learn. <gasps> you found the lucky purple shorts. Better return it to Lewis. Oh, Marnie, Marnie, Marnie. You animal. Uh, Leah's not here, is she? Probably not. No. Uh, I don't know where she would be, but if we see her, we've got an egg for her. If not... We can eat it in the mines if we need the energy or the room, but we shouldn't need the room since we have the new, the fantastic, super extra deluxe large backpack. Oh man, we're getting cutscenes with everyone. <sighs> How am I going to reach that letter in the back?
Here, let me help you, Mr. Molnar. I didn't know that was his last name. George Molnar. There you go. <laughs> I could have done it myself, and I certainly move around on my own. How feeble do you think I am? Oh, look at me coming out from the, the woodwork. Dup, you were watching us? <laughs> I was. You did a kind thing there, Penny. You should have left him alone. Now he's grumpy. I'm just taking a walk, minding my own business. No, that was nice of her. He was complaining, and she helped. Thank you. I just wish George wasn't so upset. I was only trying to help. And now he's sad. No, no, I'm sorry, miss. I shouldn't have gotten so angry. That's right. Good for you, George. I was act It was actually very kind of you to help me out. That's okay, Mr. Molnar. I understand. She's so nice. I've never married her in this game, though. I've never married anyone in this game, though, to be completely fair. It must be difficult to grow old. Um, that's why we should respect our elders. Yep. That's nice of you to say. I totally agree with you. We should treat our elders with the same respect we hope to receive ourselves someday. Penny with the life lessons. Well, it was interesting talking to you. Interesting? Really? Not good? I should go. Thanks, Penny. It was interesting seeing you too. You look like something today how's that not a, not a compliment no it's not <laughs> i think i just saw leah walking away why did we just get an acorn from that i, I don't want an acorn i want something good leah where are you going come back here girl hold on harvey yeah he's giving me uh germ lessons come here leah and i guess we're over by clint's anyway that's kind of nice it's so nice to live by the river. I fall asleep to the soothing sound of water every night. That would be nice. I love the sound of water. I love like opening my window when it's raining outside because then you can just hear it even more. I've got a balcony outside my window, so it's not like everything's getting wet. <laughs> you brought the ores I requested. Excellent. I'd like to inspect the local ore from time to time to keep track of quality and abundance. Let me just take a look at these. Hmm, I see. Thank you. You can keep those orders. They're of decent quality. And here's your payment, as promised. Man, so we're having interesting conversations with people and bringing people decent gifts. Or not gifts, but... Oh, we're just... Everything we do is just not good enough. It's just not good enough. Okay, that was worthless, but at least it'll stack with stuff we get in the mines. Okay, I don't know where Leah's going, but on Wednesdays at 2 p.m., she goes off into... Nowhere. Up by Joja Mart? She better not be shopping there. I'm gonna have beef with, beef with her if she does. Lewis, where you at? I gotta talk to you about your shorts. Uh, is he at Harvey's? No, he's closed on Wednesdays. There he is. You found them. Where? Oh, um... <laughs> There. I, I have no idea how they could have gotten there. <laughs> this stays between you and me. Got it? <laughs> oh, Lewis! You... Oh, man. Oh, try to keep the art of fishing alive. I'll pay 200 gold to any fisherman who catches two largemouth bass. Probably not gonna happen, but oh well. Oh, well. Okay, let's head up to the mines and get ourselves a little mine on. After we take a brief detour for blackberries, I seem to have a problem. We've gotten 113, 115, 114 between yesterday and today. That's insane. I don't think we're going to find any more, though, because, you know, we already harvested everything from up here. And I don't think they respawn from one day to the next. Also, I'm mistaken, apparently. They do. We can should slash could be hitting these every day if we wanted um i forgot we've got linus's basket on us too so let's see if he's 
intense. No, he's not intense. He must be real mellow right now. Um, ha ha ha. I got horrible jokes. There he is. Okay, we'll grab uh, these blackberries to satisfy my addiction. And then we should have the time to get uh, a mining trip in. I wouldn't imagine it's going to take too long, I hope. That was good money. 750 for finding his uh, his shameful item. My basket! Thank you. This means a lot to me. You're welcome. Is that it? No? No, no goal for that? Demetrius here again? You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Maybe I'll stop by your place and someday and check it out. Uh, ooh. I forgot this thing is twofold in awesomeness. We can stash the items that we don't need and take out the items we do need. Which, I know we've always been doing that with our... Actually, if we deposit them in this order, like we should do, then when we pick them back out... There we go. Okay. We can also stash the stuff that we don't need, if I didn't finish that thought. But anyway, let's get our mine on. City and edge. That just sounds good. <laughs> 30 to 45 damage. Oh, yes. I don't care if we take a speed hit. That's amazing. All right, let's get out of here. That ended up working pretty well. And also, I might move this chest inside. Not going to do it right now because it's going to take a little time. Uh, but if we stash all this and we go like this, it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's take the minecart back. That'll save us some time. I kind of forgot we could do this. Head to the bus stop. Keep our eyes peeled for blackberry bushes because I'm an addict. But uh, all right, guys, we got diamond and a ruby. A precious stone that's sought after for its rich color and beautiful luster. And a diamond, which is a diamond. It's rare and valuable. That sounds like a winner for a Grange display, if I do say so myself. And also, we got a strange bun. I don't know what that is. It looks like you can cook it, but I it's, it's interesting. Okay, let's go to bed. <laughs> I think that was a pretty productive episode. We've got, what, five? Six? Hold on, we're going to go back outside and check. I can't remember. Six items for a Grange display already? A diamond, a ruby, a super cucumber, a cauliflower, a... Six items. That's... That's insane. We only need... What? A pumpkin? Uh... Possibly another fish. And one other item. Which is amazing. That's crazy. I'm glad we made so much progress this episode. I... My notes that I usually make for these episodes were very short. It was work on grains display. And a couple other things. Oh, level six mining. We can now craft bombs, which I don't even use the ones we have already, but they're pretty cool. 
Um, I feel like bombs are more used in the second mine we unlock, which we don't have access to yet. Hence, we need to unlock it still. Anyway, we'll save that for another time. But all right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. You guys know the drill. I hope you enjoyed that one. I had a lot of fun. I don't, I don't know why, but I did. I love this game. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. And until then, as always, take care.